Hey friends, I'm Jimmy Gattas. Welcome to Nostalgic. Serious question for you. Serious, I'm dead serious. When's the first time you saw boobies, full frontal nudity, on a TV screen. And no, this doesn't count, you squiggly line spying heathens. I'm gonna share my first glimpse and give a little insight into the obscure family-friendly film that uh, they appeared in. This is gonna be an adult conversation, people. Check your immaturity out the door, but uh, you can bring your calculator. What does 8008 look like on a calculator? Oh, boob! Boob, yeah, all right, all right, all right, boob! No, in all seriousness, I'm just here to share my first time, maybe get you thinking about yours, because it's a conversation that I recently had with somebody as I was reminiscing. I feel like every young man has a story to tell. It's a major milestone for us young lads. There were a handful of potential 80s flicks that could have taken the title. Razzle, dazzle! It could have been Stripes, 1981, starring Bill Murray, John Candy, among others, which I know I watched at a sleepover in elementary school, maybe fifth or sixth grade. 1985's Weird Science, one of my favorite movies ever. I've got the poster up in the retro attic. Bigger tits. Go, 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 go. But was the chick at the piano whose clothes got sucked up the chimney before she did? Was that my first? 1984's Nerds, a strong possibility, as a childhood friend pointed out on Facebook. I know they saw it at a wildly inappropriate age. Hey, Red! <laughs> Spies Like Us was under strong consideration, until I realized this was the extent of clothes actually coming off. Let me see that. Hey, come on. But my gut still says it was a live action Disney flick that I watched in my first or second grade classroom. Yes, I said Disney. And I said in elementary school, your ears do not deceive you. It was the 80s folks, you could smoke in malls and sit in the back of the station wagon facing the opposite direction without a seatbelt on, anything was possible. That said, let's see which movie left a lasting impression on a young Jimmy Gaddis. Time Warp, take us back to 1985. Sometimes, and only sometimes. All I wanted to do was find my very own dinosaur. A unique event happens. Looks like a brontosaurus. When history catches up with us. A desperate last attempt by mankind to save the last of the dinosaurs. This is Baby, Secret of the Lost Legend. One of those movies you either remember fondly or have no clue existed. Oh, George. It was released in theaters and later on on VHS that same year, which means it was readily available for my teacher to pop in the VCR after wheeling in that beloved TV stand. Was there anything better? Maybe the square pizza on Fridays. If you were lucky, you got both on the same day. Here's the story. It takes place in Western Africa. The main characters are Susan and George, played by Sean Young, well known for her role as Rachel in Blade Runner, and William Clatt, best known in my world as Tommy Ross, in Carrie. They're out to study rare fossils. Well, at least she is. Instead, they discover a local legend, a family of brontosauruses, mom, dad, and a hatchling. We're looking at 150 million years ago. My God. Unfortunately, they accidentally lead Susan's paleontology mentor and his higher team of soldiers right to them. Daddy Dinosaur is killed, Mom is captured, leaving Susan and George to take care of Baby. That's it. And mount a rescue effort to free Mom. We'll get you back to Baby. Now, most dinosaur films at that time used stop motion effects. Baby, as you may have noticed, opted for life-sized animatronics and used puppets worn by people to provide the walking motions. Yeah, it doesn't exactly hold up, but it's not terrible. It's not great, it's okay. Although the terrible looking dinosaurs is oftentimes what many folks remember this movie for. All right, all right, the whole reason we're here, less than 45 seconds into the movie during a parade in an unknown city, many of the local women participating are topless. But that's not the scene I remember. I can still see it clearly to this day. I'm sitting at my desk just to the left of the TV. The lights are out, but some daylight is streaming in. We're in the African jungle with the tribe members that the couple has befriended. When bam, boobies. There it is, again, all natural. So not nudity in the sense of obviously people taking clothes off in a provocative way, or one that's utilizing a sex sells sort of vibe. 
But still, nudity is nudity. And that was my first exposure to it on screen in a Disney film in elementary school. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. So when was the first time you saw nudity on your TV screen? How old were you? Sound off in the comments. I really want to see which movies make the list. And let me know if you remember Baby. Did you watch it? What do you recall? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on new content that's going to make you feel nostalgic for the 80s and the 90s. While I don't have any other nudity-based videos, I do have a good one for vintage toy and video game collectors. Check out the rare goodies we found during a recent toy hunt right here. I'm Jimmy Gaddis. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.